Rockhounds Baseball is coming up next. Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Minor League Baseball the show and welcome to Minor League Baseball the show. Today is our second game of this three game series between the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks and your West Texas Midland Rockhounds. Well, today we are getting ready to host off Corpus Christi. And yesterday was pretty bad for Corpus for Midland. It was a 17 to 1 ball game. And uh, most likely, it will probably be a good day today. Well, we got a 4 o'clock game and clear skies that will lead off the evening. First, before we begin, let's get ready for your starting lineups. First, for the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks. Leading off and second baseman, Robbie Green. Green in second. Batting second for Corpus Christi, center fielder Andres Gomez. Gomez as center. Batting third for Corpus Christi is designated hitter Vaughn Sherman. Sherman, the DH. A.J. Reed will bat fourth for Corpus Christi. He is our first baseman. Batting fifth for Corpus Christi is the catcher, Jeff Begay. Begay, catching. Batting sixth for Corpus Christi, third baseman, J.D. Davis. Davis at third. Seventh is our right fielder, Michael Montag. Montag at right. Batting 8th for Corpus Christi, left fielder Javier Campillo, Campillo at left. Batting ninth, shortstop Miguel Tejeda will round out the batting order for the hooks this afternoon. And on the mound for Corpus Christi, Mike Huschild. Huschild, today's Corpus Christi hooks pitcher. And now, let's take you to the visiting, or our home team, the Midland Rockhounds. Leading off and playing first is designated hitter Ernesto Cortez. Cortez, the DH. Batting second for Midland is second baseman Steve Lombardazzi. Lombardazzi. And second, shortstop Patrick Boyer will bat third for the Rockhounds. Boyer as short. Batting fourth for the Midland Rockhounds is Jason Nunez. Nunez at first. Batting fifth for Midland is third baseman Renato Nunez. Nunez at third. Center fielder is Douglas Streeter. Streeter at center. Batting seventh for Midland is the catcher Bryce Norman. Norman catching. Batting eighth for Midland is left fielder Amondo Castro. Castro at left. Batting ninth in the Midland Rock Hounds order, rounding out the batting order, is Donald Kidda. Kidda, rounding out the batting order, and on the mound for the Rock Hounds, Coleman Riggs. Riggs, today's starting Rock Hounds pitcher, and there is your starting lineups.
it's time for baseball on MLB Network. Ought to be a good one here between the Corpus Christi Hooks and the Midland Rockhounds. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Coleman Riggs, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. Into the box now, Robbie Green. He will lead this one Leading off today. Second baseman, Robbie Green. Here comes the first pitch. And Zero. afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right now. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Talk about hitting the ground running. Usually a leadoff man is a guy that takes the first pitch trying to get the feel for the pitcher, trying to get dialed in, but not this guy. He's got that see ball, hit ball philosophy, and he does just that, launching that pitch out of here before the fans could even get settled in the seats. Into the box now, Andres Gomez, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No outs, nobody on. Yeah. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Riggs, it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Dero, daytime road game for him. What you got? Well, Matty, if I could tell this lineup one thing, it would be let's get on this guy early. Day game in this ballpark. The sun starts glaring, starts getting later in the day. Those shadows start creeping in right around the time that bullpen starts getting warmed up. Got to find a way to scratch a few across early. Ball one to start the at-bat. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. He's running. Now a hard liner. But foul. The 0-2 home. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Oh, and he botches it. Oh, come on. And he's in safely at third. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. As we take a look here, it's just a good piece of hitting and good hustle. Driving the second run of the inning home and putting himself 90 feet away with just one out. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Pulled toward right center field. 
Streeter sprinting after it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. That was a good, controlled swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Right side hit hard. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Some two-out success to keep the top of the first alive. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Stepping in now, Michael Montag. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Set. Here's the 0-1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Working for the punch out and the offering. Softly hit here to the left side. In there, a base hit. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits, and that's exactly what that was. Soft liner into left field. Nice job. In now, Javier Campillo popped him up. And, oh, this one drops. Another first-inning RBI opportunity for him here. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Lined hard to the left side, but foul. Three runs already home here. And he misses there, one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the third. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors, and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The hooks lead it three to nothing. Mike Housefield, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Stepping into the box, Ernesto Cortez. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Designated hitter, Ernesto Cortez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And that slider's almost in the dirt. One zero home. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and one. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. And he will start the bottom of the first with a leadoff two base hit. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt. Some people like to throw about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Standing in now, Steve Lombardosi. Softly hit out to short. And one gone. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Well, Matt, I'm looking for someone to step up right now. Down three runs. Someone's going to have to hit a gapper with runners in scoring position. It all starts with the leadoff guy. Find a way to execute and get himself on base. See if they can get a rally start and get back in this. In now, Patrick Boyer, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. A leap, but he oh. can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Wong. Wong. Wow. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jason Nunez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First offering on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez is over. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third on the fly ball as he's in there now with two away. And here's Renato Nunez. And they're runners at the corners now. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Gomez going back out of here into the visitors' bullpen. So a three-run blast to deep center here as it's now a three-all ball game. Looking at that pitch again, you can see he just flat out missed his location. You put that pitch right there, and he's going to tattoo it. Now we're all tied up again, starting this thing all over. Into the box now, Douglas Streeter. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation where that changeup's going to beat me. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss on a pitch that winds up hitting him. And rather bizarrely, the inning is over. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. Second inning coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Stepping up now, Miguel Tejada. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. He takes a knee-high fastball. behind 0-2 now. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Count remains at 0-2. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. One ball and two. One and two. Hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes again, 1-2. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Fouled off. Hey, we all love home runs and gappers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. This is foul right side. I didn't realize the pitcher and the hitter were being so charitable today, giving away seven free souvenirs to the fans. This is one of those epic at-bats. Everyone wins. 
Nunez. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. All right. Here's how the home side's lining up defensively. And be on the lookout today because the best arm in the outfield resides in left field. Usually not the norm, but you better not test this guy. Not only does he have a strong arm, very, very accurate as well. Robbie Green is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now the one and one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. He's looking a lot second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. He's certainly done an amazing job right here grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking he would love to see three four five with no one on base next day and that's through for a base hit make him one for two in this one so now with two away the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base nice execution right there dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Runner on first, two away, all tied at three apiece. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. He's had great command of his pitches all day. I don't mind him trying to go down right there and try and get a swing and a miss, but a nice job by the hitter to lay off that one in the dirt. Bouncer up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Line hard to the left side, but foul. Gomez over at second. Sherman on at first with two down. Yeah. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. So stepping in, Bryce Norman. First pitch coming, here it is. Start of that swing a bit too early. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. The wind up and the 0-1. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with the slider. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Slider up that he gets a call on. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. You want to talk about shutting a running game down? The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get a two-step lead off first base today. This is on the ground over the first. 
And he'll step on first himself for the out. Got him nice. Right fielder, Donald. Standing in, Donald Pita. First offering on its way. Hit hard on the ground is short. Tejada is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat, Leading Jeff Begay earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Owen won the count. Here's the 0 1. That's a ball. 1 and 1. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hit out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. How about it? Third base. Stepping in and ready for another shot, J.D. Davis. He singled his last time up. There's a strike. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kida moves over, and that's the second out of the inning. Now Digging in to try it again, Michael Montag. He reached on a single in his first try. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Stays alive, still 0-2. Batter's gonna have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Riding in once again, Ernesto Cortez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Drilled to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. Well, as we take another look at it, you can see that this thing kind of handcuffed him and he couldn't make the play. Comes off the heel of the glove, and the leadoff man is aboard. Into the box, Steve Lombardozzi. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Finds oh. the wall, and he made the catch. What a play to bring it down back from the deepest part of the yard. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. 
great stuff. In now, Patrick Boyer. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Pitch out. Nothing doing. 3-3 three, three our score with a man on at first and one away. This one's down to third. Davis brings it in. There's one on the first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. First baseman, number 33, Jason Nunez. Ready for another chance. Jason Nunez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. The two and one on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle, scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are all tied at three apiece. Into the box now, Javier Campillo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Into the box, Miguel Tejada. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. One out, nobody on. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Didn't mess around much in that at-bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Standing in now, Robbie Green. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Kida waits on it and that retires the side. Set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch. Meanwhile, here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. Ooh, 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 ooh. A solo shot here to left, his second of the game as they take the lead four to three.
That's what I love about baseball. The pitch before, he looked absolutely foolish, but they gathered himself, stayed with the plan, and the next pitch, he goes yard. Every pitch is another chance. Into the box now, Douglas Streeter. And he puts it on the ground to second. Green scoops it up, throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batter, after at the plate, Bryce Norman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. Line towards center field. Gomez is there now, and he has it to God. The batter, left fielder, Edmundo Castro. Digging in the switch hitter, Edmundo Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Soft liner towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So we'll go a little deeper into the bottom of the fourth as that extends the inning. Not every ball is going to be smoked on the screws. There's a nice soft liner in the center field that lands right before the center fielder. Into the box, Donald Keita. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up, and a gorgeous flip to second, and with that, the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Rockhounds lead it four to three. Digging in and looking for more, Andres Gomez. A hit in two tries so far. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. And the pitch. And a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Kida ranging back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in once again, Vaughn Sherman. Already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. First pitch on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Castro has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. First baseman number 23, A.J. Reed. Ready for another shot now. A.J. Reed. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Streeter is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ernesto Cortez. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. Backhanded. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Now in the box, Steve Lombardozzi. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Green comes up with it. Throw on the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Ready once again. Patrick Boyer. One for two on his line so far in the game.
First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard towards center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Uh, hey, D. Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple now of runs it. early already in this game, and now he gives up the two out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Stepping in now, now Jason Nunez. Pitch out. Nothing doing. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. swing here but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over so no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on five innings complete the Rockhounds are out in front four to three leading off the inning Jeff Big A and they'll need him to get something going here Jeff Big A First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a high pop up. Nunez over to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now, batting, right fielder. Michael Ready for another Montag. chance. Michael Montag. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Two out. Nobody on. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Hit back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way up. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this one. In now, Douglas Streeter, as he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the oh knees for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a 
swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Good one. A native of the Dominican Republic. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a two-seam fastball. Swing and a liner. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That was actually a well-executed fastball into in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming. Turned and burned. Standing in now, Edmundo Castro. This is line to left. Campillo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Ready once again, Donald Hida to see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. This is flared right back over the mound. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Boy, this is a big inning, Bruin. How about back-to-back-to-back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded. And he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on-deck circle and realizing all the pillows are taken right now. Major traffic. you got to stay within yourself, not try and do too much and get a pitch in your zone. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And it's fouled away. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Grounded back up the middle. And this goes right past him. Oh, my. That's a The Ooh. catch in here is the run is in to score from third. Now a 5-3 game. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the shoot there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Into the box now, Steve Lombardozzi. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. This is hit to third. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. So one run on four hits here. No errors, and three men left on base. We're through six full. The Rock Hounds lead it 5 to 3. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Leading off the inning, Javier Campillo, Leading as they'll look to four. get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Streeter moves over, one away. Striding in once again, Miguel Tejada. Tejada. First pitch of the at bat. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean 
just off the corner. Count even at two and two. Here now the two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Kida in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Now back. Second baseman. Now back Bobby to the top of the lineup. Green. Stepping in, Robbie Green. Lifted into center field. Lombardozzi has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Rich Silk gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Digging in and looking for more, Patrick Boyer. He's two for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Patrick Boyer. No balls and a strike to count. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Swing and a miss and he's in control 0-2. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Swing and a little tapper, but it gets foul. Ready with another 0-2. And a breaking ball stays outside. The one two. This is flared out towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first down. First baseman number 33. Digging in to try it again. Jason Nunez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Here's Renato Nunez. This will go after a curveball out of the zone to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Missed with a breaking ball. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 1-0. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. A step on second for the force, and that'll do it. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. The Rockhounds are out in front, 5-3. to three. Leading off the inning, Andres Gomez, and they'll need him to get something going here. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. The 1-0. Lifted down the line in left. Castro is after it. Ball. Two balls and a strike. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's around first, heading for two. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. And he is in the third base here with a leadoff triple. And he will score on the inside the park home run, and that was a gift right there. He's lucky it's only a single back up the middle and not a double in the gap or a home run. Pitches like that in a show get absolutely hammered. 
fouled away. High in the air out to center field. Streeter has a play. He's got it run away. So here's the cleanup hitter. A.J. Reed is working on a one for three thus far. And that one right down Main Street. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a liner. But right at the shortstop for the second out. The batter, Catherine. Jeff. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jeff Big A. He'll swing it from the left side right here. It's a swinging bunt up the line. It's foul, strike one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Kida is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Rockhounds lead it five to four. At the plate, Bryce Norman. Leading off of the Rockhounds. First pitch of the at bat on Norman. its way. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Bouncer up the middle. Two is left to Hada. And there's one away. The left field, number one. And digging in once again at Mundo Castro as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Davis in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is on the ground over the first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, right fielder. Now in the box, Donald Hida. First pitch of the at-bat. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Calling for it, Campillo. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now. J.D. Davis. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the second pitch of the inning will be his 100th of the ball game. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. He's up to 100 pitches now, but he's still bringing the fastball pretty good. Nothing about that last throw tells me he's wearing down right now. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. The one-two. Popped him up. Lombardozzi shading to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Michael Montag. Third baseman hugging the line here, now the first pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and One-run game here in the top of the ninth. And he fouls this one off. One, two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Yep. And he hung a curveball that time that stayed high. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Fouled off. Oh, 
Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock. And in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way with special. Into the box, Javier Campillo. One ball, no strikes to count. Montag, base runner at first with one out. Grounded back up the middle. Lombardozzi, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Into the box, Miguel Tejada. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one will get this one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Kida giving chase. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Well, I got to be honest. I didn't think he had nine innings in him. But he battled, and he finished the game, and he picked up the win along the way, too. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. The Rockhounds hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Coleman Riggs is credited with the win. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. So that was the second game of this three-game series. The Rockhounds today had a close call with the Corpus Christi Hooks as the Rockhounds held the Hooks defense. Losing pitcher goes to Micah's child, Hoss Shield, and the winning pitcher goes to Coleman Riggs. So, Andres Gomez, two for four, third base, RBI, and right. Robbie Green on Corpus Christi, one for four, HR, with the RBI and right. AJ Reed, first for four, third baseman, RBI, and right. Vaughn Sherman, two for four, in the right. Losing pitcher goes to Mike. Hoss Shield, and most likely guys will do the Midland Rock Counts. Renato Nunez was three for four for the two home runs, four RBIs, and three right or runs. Ernesto Cortez, two for four, second base, RBI, and a run. Patrick Boyer, two for four in the run. Edmund Castro, one for four. Winning pitcher for the Midland Rockhounds this afternoon is Coleman Riggs. Riggs takes the win over Mike Hoshield. And most likely it was a pretty good ball game. Well, today's final is the Midland Rockhounds 5 and the Corpus Christi Hooks 4. Well, this will just about do it for Minor League Baseball, the show. We will be back tomorrow afternoon for the third game of this three-game set series with Corpus Christi. Anyway, we hope you all had a good day today. And we'll be back with all new Rockhounds Baseball and the show tomorrow. So, so long, everybody.